Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Thanks, Upper Deck, again. I got another box in the mail from Upper Deck. Compliments of uh, Chris Carlin and the good folks at Upper Deck. I just um, want to say thank you and uh, let uh, listeners know what I got. Another good box here it was 2019 2020 SP Authentic Hockey. I got to brush up on my hockey knowledge. And uh, But first, thanks to uh, other sponsors besides Upper Deck, Tops and Panini, Heritage Auctions, Huggins and Scott Auctions, Mike Stadium Sports Cards, Burbank Sports Cards. I say Heritage Auctions and Huggins and Scott Auctions and Comsey.com and Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication. Pretty much all the sponsors, well, well, they all we're all we're all in this hobby in this industry, and uh, hockey's a an important part of it. So I enjoyed opening the box. Again, I'm 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 a complete set guy usually, and it pains me to say that I opened up the box and noticed that most of the cards were base cards, of which I, I'm not I'm not discarding them, but I kind of set them aside. I'm pleased that there is more interest in some of the base cards and some of the sports and hockey. In some cases, that's true as well. But it was 18 packs, five cards in a pack. That was 90 cards. So basically, 80% of the cards were base cards. Yeah, no problem with that. Want to be helpful in uh, trying to put together a set, except that, you know, they're not all cards are printed equally. So that means the top 20% of the cards I'm holding in my hand. So I'm going to go through those with you pretty quickly and just tell you what I liked about it. This was, I, I just did the the OPG Platinum set. That was maybe a $75 box. And this is probably a $130 or $140, $150 box. So almost uh, twice as expensive, but you were getting two autographs per box. One was a future watch and one was in some other. And I'll tell you about that. And then it was also the continuation this of the 2019-2020 Upper Deck kind of the high numbers, sort of, so to speak. And then the Spectrum thing, which I think is pretty cool, and some other stuff. So, And the red parallels, which basically, again, I got three, so that means at 18 packs, you're going to get one per six, which is what they said. So again, the descriptor from uh, Beckett.com, where if you want to find out everything you want to know about at least the uh, release of that uh, product, go on. It's just been out a couple of weeks, or uh, less than a couple of weeks, I guess. So I uh, don't see a lot on eBay or ComC or any of the other places like that. But uh, eventually, I actually made the mistake uh, last year or the year before where I, I had uh, some brand new cards and, hey, there's none of them on ComC. And I put them on there. And by the time they got loaded up there, there were there were plenty. So be careful what you're putting into a fixed price or probably even an auction format as well. If you put some up on eBay right away, if you're, well, Either way, you just it's hard to know what something's going to sell for. Uh, when you put something out really early, if it's a younger player, you may you may have priced it too cheap. If it's a veteran player, usually there's established uh, pricing protocols. So here's what I got. Best card, Alexander Texier. That was a future watch number to 50 autographed patch. Very nice. I like that. Then I got a Joey Decord, uh, goalie for the uh, Senators. That was numbered to 999 an autograph. And then what I thought was really cool, the authentic winners. I actually got Bobby Orr and Jack Hughes. And they're, you know, they're just, I think they're just basic insert cards. But I love it when uh, the card companies uh, marry up the, the old with the new. I got one Young Guns, which is Yakov Trenin, Andre Vasilevsky. These were the Spectrum and Philippe Myers, a couple of Spectrum cards. The Spectrum concept is interesting. You check it out. It's the uh, cards get uh, a little bit tougher as the, as the numbers get higher. I think that's a hobby. That has a lot of hobby historical reference. SB Essentials, I got a Carey Price and Alex De De Brickett. And that's, let's see. And then I got the, I got three of the red ones, the limited ones. Again, I like it when they're noticeably different to the naked eye. It doesn't say how many, but you know, if it's one per six packs, then it's, you know, six times as tough, I guess. Let's see. Then the upper deck extended cards. And then finally the authentic moments, which, you know, I like some of these things. I got a Jordan Bennington and a Connor McDavid. So again, I'm, I'm, I've gone from being a very intense hockey collector to more of a casual hockey collector. And so I, as I've said, I've, I've released my season tickets. So I'm no longer going and I'm not watching on TV as much. Of course, I get a pass right now because there is no hockey unless you want to watch reruns. But another uh, interesting product from Upper Deck. Again, when it's uh, a little bit higher price point, it needs to be um, a little bit better. And the two autographs, especially with the with the with the patch, I think actually got better cards. The the question I raise is: it twice as good to me? Would I rather have two OPG boxes or one uh, of the platinum or two or one SB authentic? And again, I think you're if you're listening in, you know I. I kind of would take the two for one and they're cheaper. You'd have a better chance of getting a base set and having some other interesting cards. And you'd have two autographs for 150 
uh, that you're getting uh, straight from the SP Authentic. So, uh, well done, Upper Deck. Enjoy collecting everybody. I think it's hard to convince somebody to get into hockey if they don't love hockey, but a lot of people love hockey in this, in America, as well as in Canada and around the world. So, again, keep up the good work, Upper Deck. Enjoy collecting everybody, and I'll be back again Monday with another longer episode.